Hi, I'm John Decker, PGA Golf Instructor and author of the book, Golf Is My Life, Glorifying God Through the Game. Today I want to work with you on a bump and run shot in short game. This is a shot that you'll see a lot. You, sp you see this shot played a lot in the British Open and at the Masters. And typically, you're going to play it when you're on a tight lie. A lot of times I'll play this shot when I'm on a little bit of a down slope. Um, because when I'm on a down slope and my ball is on a little bit of a down slope, I want to always try to go with what the shot gives me. If I was on an up slope, I probably am not going to play a bump and run shot because then I want to hit a higher shot. The situation here is I have an elevated green. I've got about 10 yards to the front of the green, and I've got about um, nine paces from the front of the green to the hole. So I don't have um, uh, really off a downhill lie, and, uh, and especially coming off a tight lie, this would be very difficult for me to use a lob wedge and try to carry the ball to the green, <clears throat> and it would be very risky. And the last thing I want to do is hit it short and have it roll back down the hill. And that's what happens a lot of times when you see players play these shots. Now, putting is an option. And I've always said I would rather you go with the low shot first and the high shot last. Uh, so you could putt this. But I personally don't like putting when I have to go uh, across that much grass uh, and have to go up that hill. I don't think most people practice that shot, and so it's a lot easier to chip it with a nine iron or a pitching wedge and have the ball kind of fly in the air and run up the hill because that is a shot that, uh, you know, the chip shot motion is a shot that people typically do practice or do around the golf course. And when I hit this shot, basically what I'm doing is I'm putting my feet real close together. I'm going to play the ball right in the middle of my stance but I'm gonna set my weight forward. A lot of people play the ball way back in their stance when they hit these shots, but unfortunately, when I play the ball back in my stance, I can't shift my weight. I can't move, so I'm pretty much hitting it with my arms. I still wanna play the ball in the middle, open my stance up a little bit, and set my weight left, and I want all my weight here on my left-hand side. I am gonna make a little bit of a backswing, and I'm gonna have a little turn to the target when I hit the shot. So. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit the shot and then we'll talk about the strategy a little bit more. My goal is to land the ball right here, somewhere on the, on the uh, slope right here and have it run up the hill. So we'll, we'll see if I can pull it off. So that ball's up there about six feet short of the hole, seven feet maybe. But that would give me a nice uphill putt, and I would pretty much take that. My, my, whenever I'm in a situation like this, this is not a situation where I, I'm going to be thinking I can get this real close to the hole. My main thing is leaving it in the right spot. What I don't want to do is there's two things I don't want to do. Number one is I don't want to hit it and have it only go about two feet. And we've all done that before where you hit the ground and you don't hit the ball first. So if I get my weight on my left-hand side, I'm going to pretty much eliminate that. The second thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to go past the hole. Because if I go past the hole, then I have a downhill putt. So it's very important. If you'll get your weight in your setup, just like in the flamingo drill, if you get your weight all in your left-hand side, choke down on the club a little bit, and learn to make the club go up and down, you're going to hit solid shots pretty much every time. And you're going to eliminate the chili dip or the ball that only goes a couple of feet. Then you just got to practice. You know, learning when to use a 9-iron, when to use an 8-iron or a pitching wedge and playing these shots depends on the circumstances. It depends on the speed of the greens. Um, you know, if the greens are really fast, I, instead of using a 9-iron, I probably would have gone to a pitching wedge. Are you going uphill? Are you going you know, is the level lot? So you are going to have to practice and experiment, but this is a very safe shot and a shot that most people can learn to hit and a shot that uh, you want to learn how to hit because you can't always putt.